Happy Titan Up Tuesday, everybody. It's Chris Denman in St. Louis. But you know Titan Up Tuesday is hosted by B-Flat. Funniest comics on the planet out of Philadelphia. Every Tuesday, we fix shit to make it fly right here on the Two Funny Mamas YouTube channel. We're going to have some B.I.Y. tonight. We've got a feature. We've got all kinds of fun. We've got Grace dancing. Look at this. The fly. <laughs> She's a Gorlock, everybody. <laughs> Bees showered, shaved, dressed and ready. It's going to be a heck of a show. Let us know in the comments if you're having a good time, if you've got your BIY questions. Maybe you're going to light something up. Maybe you're going to have a sip. Every Tuesday, right here with Bees Flat. Mm. Look at that with the frugal flip t-shirt on. The knee is loose. Loose like a goose. And the joint is lit. Hello, B. You know it. Hey, Chris, how are you doing? I'm and doing all well. My lovely Picasso's joining us tonight as they do every Tuesday, which right. I love to death. Mm. Live and on time. And you know it. Dang, Chris. Already. Look at this. Oh, boy. Are you kidding? Here we go. We're saying we're going to have a tight show. We're going to run segments. Nope. B's going to dance because you know what? That's part of the show. If you guys want to make B dance, hit her with the cash app. Dollar sign B flat. That's right. And you know what? Oh, Chris, you know who this for? Miguel. Helen. <laughs> Shout out Laurel. to Miguel, Helen, oh. Laurel. Oh, my goodness. They're busy. And Mel Hung. Mel Hung do. Oh. Oh. Mel Hung do right oh. by you, ma'am. I got to hit him with the rerun. Okay. <laughs> And we're off. It is a happy yes. Tuesday indeed. B, big show. You bought the you brought the blazer out. I, I left mine behind tonight. I brought the blazer out. I brought the blazer out, Chris. You know, I'll be trying to make you feel right at home. <laughs> I even, you see, I it's, got my suit. I, I'm, I'm more, always bringing. I'm more comfortable. I'll be ready, Chris. Yeah, you I'll are. be having a Superman curl, swoop. I can see your hair better tonight, too. The sides of it. Right. And look, and your and you ears. can hear me, too. You're doing great, yeah. Without the headset on, look. <laughs> Do you know somebody commented, why does Sherry and Kim not have to wear headphones, but B does? <laughs> you've got Thank people, you. You've got people questioning the tech setup because they think it's Thank unfair. You. They think it's unfair you have to wear headphones. How are you liking it? My point it? exactly. That was you the whole it? point of getting this brand new fly-ass computer, thinking like, oh, Sherry got it. Kim got it. I got it. Why I got to wear a headset? Do you want to messing up my fly ass Sonny Bono wig? Do <laughs> open up my unit. Right. Let's not mess that unit up. Okay. Yes. Hey, we Thank got a message from Miss Buttons in the chat. Hey, <laughs> let the party begin. Hey, everybody. Okay, Miss Buttons, let's do it. <laughs> the party <laughs> always is popping at Tighten Up Tuesday. Mm. I love mm -mm. this show, Chris. You know why I love this show? Because I love the people that love this show. And I just found out that every time I see Key pop in and dance, that she be coming from the crib just to come and dance and then oh go home. Oh, goodness. That okay. is the shit. This Hands is down, right there. That lets me know this show is the shit. If Key comes every Tuesday, I thought she was coming in there to work. She lit on the street and she comes there just so she can come in and dance. Well, just, you know what? Because that's the shit. I'm gonna have to check her time card. I think she's probably charging us for, to dance for you. So well, I, well, what? Tell tell Key I got her. <laughs> tell I got a couple cash apps, and a couple of them came through. They was all like, "Get us the key." Tell Key I got her. We ought to be. Well, we ought to do dance. We ought to be paid, Key. Everybody loves Key, <sighs> and I, I'm obviously kidding. Key kicks ass for us, and uh, it's nice that she does. She actually does. She loves sliding through. Grace is uh, is your primary engineer on this, but. Key, Key, you'll find her way for the dance for the people. Yeah, she's even she's and got I a ladder. Really she's got a whole routine. Coming, I thought she was coming in there to work. Well, she she's never stops working. I'll say that, but yeah, just what? for you and for the people. That's love. You could say she's a Key Casso. Good night, everybody. Go. go on, Key Casso. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start calling her that. She's um, the Key Casso. I promise I'm not going to eat any more grapes 
and be super ghetto, but I'm sure I sound why, better. Why is it Jamie? Why is it? I went and got some cough drops and some tea, Jamie. Been taking my Flonase. I can breathe. Look at this. Feel much better. You're I like so, the energy tonight. You're you're thank on you. top of it. You're I like the look. I like the thank planning. You. you got a great feature like tonight. I do. It's cool. Where'd you get that? Cicely sent this to me for my birthday. Isn't Shout out nice? to Cicely. Hello. See the upside down house. Nice. Yes. Okay. It's flipped. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, I always rock my stuff. Plus, I am glad that I get these t-shirts and all this lovely stuff in the mail because I need stuff. I just you've got mail. I'm you've got mail coming. Code. You got mail coming for uh, for the lost package. Uh, it will be there before your next show. Thank God, Chris. They said it couldn't you, be done. I know. Mm -hmm. I know you were trying only, to get the emails. And I only the flag. had. To, I only had to rough up seven postal employees at different locations. You said well, you were going to stop eating grapes. Bad. I told you I only had two more left. This is it. Look, it sounds that? like it sounds like ten more. Eat them off a coffee filter. Is that right? Oh, is that is that your frugal flip for the? That's your frugal snack. Yes, instead of wasting paper towel, I got a whole stack of coffee filters, so I'll use those as like a little bowl to put my fruit on. That's not bad at all. I like that. It's a frugal flip tip. Uh, frugal flip tips for people like Nicole Daniels in the uh, live chat saying hi to Flat and Chris. Hello, Nicole. Okay. Mar Marianne Anderson. When I got my notification, I left them and tuned in. What's that? Left who? Sound like she walked off the job. I hope it wasn't her family. That could be bad. It sounded like she said, I'm clocking out early and fuck what y'all talking about. That's right. Tighten up Tuesday. That's <laughs> right. What kind of person? <laughs> Ma'am, you're yeah. employed here. Not during Tighten Up Tuesday. She's like, not right now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Not during this time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, CT's in the chat. Natalie Austin. Hey, my play adopted because of cousins joy i'll pay your bail monica says good evening tough cali girl good evening. is chilling miss but miss buttons is my favorite name of the night heaven sent says yes jesus it's about damn time at chris talk to the post office lori grant i'm here woohoo and That's what's uh, up. let's have some fun tonight let's do it leave your comments leave your chat we'll try and get to as many as we can if you have questions for b throughout the show let us know there is an affiliate link for amazon so if you're shopping use that link i gotta buy um something small like a i think i gotta buy like a phone charger or something tomorrow off of amazon whatever get, you do chris you better and, use my link and guess who's gonna use it that's right it's in there yes. it's pinned in the live chat so if you use it save it and use uh put a little change in b's pocket Thank you. And and when I look in there and check out my, when I look at my sheet and check my Amazon account, it tells me what people bought and how much they spent. So I'm going to look and see if you did it, Chris. Please do. Report no, back. I'm just kidding. It don't tell you all that. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to say, can you send this $2.35 to Mid Coast Media as part of my <laughs> Perfect. podcast fees? Yes. <laughs> Dark and Lovely's uh, LG says, hi, B, Chris, and Picasso's. Uh, Thank you. Tiffany Good Turner's evening. in the house. Yep. Kai, 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 I'm going to mess it up. Kai, Shanna is in the house. Devin Henderson's, hey, Picasso. Let's keep it rolling. What Chris, do we got, you B? Gonna have to get you. Okay, you remember them old school Geico commercials where the people would say that and then they would have the interpreter in the back? You remember those commercials? Probably. The Geico commercials? Hmm. I'll say yes. Well, it was like a series of commercials where like a person would sit on the couch and they would say something about the insurance, but they weren't really telling their true feelings. And then they would have the person stand behind them that would really interpret what they wanted to say. Mm -hmm. It ran for like maybe like 10 years ago. I, I was going to say that. you should get you one of those Geico people to help you read names. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so like, uh, I think I think I do all right for for reading, talking, and uh, speaking to the engineer and all that on the fly. But I'm so. just saying you could do better. Okay, well I will I, I will always try and do better, but it's never. If you had on somebody purpose. from North St. Louis standing behind you and be like, "No, Chris, it's Rashida." Got it. Got it. What got he it, got meant it. to say was, you know. <laughs> <they> can, <laughs> They can help you. With, you know, they got a person that do that for the NBA announcers and the NFL announcers so they can read all the people's name right. 
Well, a lot of times what you'll do, I know with fighters, what they'll do uh, is they'll make them send a video of them pronouncing their own it. name and then you oh. just copy off it. Yeah. Well, the two at the NFL, they just got two sisters in the booth and they'd be like, how you say this? they be like, <laughs> Hakeem. <laughs> and they'd be like, Hakeem number 33 on the field, Hakeem. <laughs> Shout out they to Hakeem. Them, they just showed the sister the paper. They oh get my paid gosh. to do that. Well, here, let's, let's take a quick shot. Adrian's okay. in the house. Uh, Daphne's in the house. Miguel's in the house. Thick vegan Afro. I can pronounce okay. that. Thank I like you. That name. Um, who else we got in the house? Lyella uh, is in the house. Carmen is here from Nashville. Antonia is here. Audrey is here. I believe Devin. I said that already. Cali girl. Look at this. That's all. That's like ten. For Those 10. are all the names that you can easily read and pronounce. I'm sure it's a few in there that you might have had to struggle with. Naya, I always say Naya. How you know you say, how you know it ain't Naya? Maybe it's maybe it's Nilla. I think it's Nella, oh. and I just said Naya because that's got a little more fun. Oh, okay. Well, that's mm. what I'm saying. If you had somebody, if you had Key standing behind you with the paper, she'd be like, "No, Chris, <laughs> that is not how you say it. We can look at a name. You now can spell Deborah three different ways, and we know how to say them." We'd be like, no, it is not Deborah. It is Deborah. And you can look at the paper and be like, Chris, that's a Deborah, not Deborah. How about HR? HR mm -hmm. uh, saying, I never say hi to HR. Wrong. Just said hi to you. Boom. What's up now? DeVoe is in the chat. Elaine's in the chat. One Mrs. Pete's in the chat. Elena Meyer, Weena, Jai, MM. All right. Let's You know MM's in the chat. Oh, Speaking yeah. of which, before we go any further. You know, I always have to give a shout out to Sounds of Noel and to Daphne. And I'm just, oh, oh I'm feeling Daphne because, you know, she helped out with our beef and bake. What? Beef and bake. I keep saying beef and bake like it's beef a fucking and bake. beer. Like you had to yell at people? <laughs> brief. I got to get used to saying it's like a tongue twister. Brief oh, boy. and bake. Oh, Chris. Hmm. I just have to let people know I have to give a shout out to the brief and bake, which we had. You're doing shout outs? Week. That shit was off the chain. The brief and bake. It was nice. Was off the chain. The part and I, I got definitely to have jump to give on. a shout out to uh, Carletta, who sent some lovely chocolate covered strawberries here. Oh, they were good in the month. That's we nice. Was strawberries up. I bit off of one for everybody. So, you know, I held the strawberries up, let everybody see them on the Zoom. And Mark was like, ooh, bite that one for me. Bite the one in the right corner. So I was like, which one you want? I was holding the box just like this. Which one you want me to bite? So I bit off the strawberries for everybody in the Zoom. It was eight of us. It was so amazing. Chris, you jumped in towards the end, and then we stayed after, on another hour. After the TFM uh, 100th episode, I wanted to make sure everything was good, and I ended up hanging out. Yes. It was a great crew. And I'm glad Daphne jumped on, took notes. The people on the uh, Brief and Bait got a chance to meet and see Daphne. And it was so nice to just see the people that were on that are like supporters of the show. I told them I felt weird, like now sitting here talking to everybody. And it's just like weird having this audience, but they're not here. So that's why it was great seeing people on the Zoom. Cause I was like, oh, now I feel yeah. like I'm at a comedy show. I can see people's face and their reaction. And we had fun, but I'm gonna let everybody know. I thought I was funny. I am not the resident comedian on Tighten Up Tuesday. Hands down, it is Mark Merriweather. Shout out to St. Louis, who obviously this city seems to house a lot of funny people. Chris, we have we have a few names. Yeah, yeah, and you know Mark cut up on the damn. Now, judging by <laughs> judging by his comments in the live chat, I was so surprised. Mark, shout out to ML. He cut up. He had everybody cracking up. Shout out to Felicia who jumped in and joined us. Just everybody to Michael, uh, Devana, De Denisha, Misty, Moody. Uh, who am I missing? It was a lot of people. You said Carlotta. I, Carlotta. I did. Mark yeah. and nobody missing. Nobody. Great crew. Yeah. It was so fun. And I just got a lot of great feedback. I, got, I just want to make sure I, I don't think I missed anybody. I did say everybody. Good, yeah, I good. said all the names. So. I'm looking forward to the next one, which will be with my day oneers. So I'm going to pick like my top day oneers. Ooh. They're going to do the same thing, and I'm going to get that great feedback that I got for them, which was keep doing what you do, don't change a motherfucking thing. So <laughs> that's honest. basically how it was summed up. So I did appreciate that. So the brief and 
that's fun. I love meeting the people and perfect setup for you. With them, so. Yeah, it was yeah. Perfect. and and I'll say this: I talked to B the next day and after, and I know you all had a good time, but B had a great time too. It was very obvious, just even just behind the behind the scenes too. A real quick shout out to all the people in the chat. Thank you. Keep the comments coming. Happy birthday to Taina. Oh, oh, yes. Happy birthday, right. T. Big happy birthday. Yeah. Yes. That's We're right. Down Party. Here We're going to celebrate when I get there. Even though mm -hmm. it'll be late May going into June, we still going to celebrate her birthday. And do that. Uh, I will yes. say, if you're in the chat, share this stream to your Facebook, your Twitter. Only about 300 people right now. Let's get it up to 500. We usually keep oh, yeah. it over Let's 500 it on this. Popping. Yeah. Get it popping. Let's popping. have some fun on Tighten Up Tuesday. Let's do it. All right. Well, speaking of fun, I'm all about fun. On that note, you know I got to jump up and show some fun love. Ow! Do you need, fun love. Do you need some music? Do we have any music? I don't need no music. You know, you don't know, my head. You know the spirit oh, drives her. That's right. Oh, the beats oh, in her head, oh, everybody. Oh, oh, oh. I hear it too. What, what caused that? DJ Grace in the house. Oh, DJ Grace in the house. Oh, Jesus, Jesus lives is here. Ava is here. It's for Helen. Right. What's that? Oh, oh who is it? This is for you, Chris. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Grace, what oh. do you think it would be like if B did a dance and called somebody out and then said they, owe, they owed her? Time. They owed her a cash out. <laughs> I'm gonna get my rope next time, Chris. I'm gonna put it right here and pull the straps. What were you doing? Why? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, Jane. Oh, boy. Okay, oh, my gosh. Up. Miss 007's here. <laughs> D Dean's here. We Jamila's here. Miss Michelle's here. Kiana's <laughs> here. Hmm. I'm a mess. If that's here, you know I'm a mess. I'm certifiable. I'll be glad when somebody, I'll be glad when somebody that's looking for me at some point in my life, look and see all this crazy shit I do, and they'd be like, "Yeah, she need a check." Yeah, she yeah. Need a state check. The government, the government's failed you to this point. I'll, I'll they admit. have. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I need to do. I know <laughs> a lot of people that's getting checks. I need one of them. I'm just saying. I feel like I can get me one. Okay. All <laughs> so, right. Let's see. It. Well, let me go ahead and keep it moving. I'm going to mm -hmm. go ahead and read Maya's card really quick before I jump into my DYK. And of course, oh, <laughs> the funky poopy flip. Oh, shout out to the guiding light guru. Mm -hmm. Let me throw my glasses on real quick so I can uh, yep. make sure I can see what I'm doing. All right. Today's card says you are magic. Listen for it on the inside. Mm. Find the things that make that make. Women, find the things that feel good to you and to your soul. Know who you are and what you like. You have unique qualities about you that are wonderful and exciting to others. Mm -hmm. You are magic. Yes, I am. <laughs> I be needing this kind of reaffirmations just to keep me going every yes. day. Just like, okay, you can do it. You can get through it and think positive. Right. So they really work for me, and I just love to share that. So shout out to my girl, Maya. Hey, now. As always. Okay. Chris, do mm. you have any more uh, oh, comments man. before I get into my DYK? You got all kinds of comments. Uh, how about I read I them? love hearing the comments. I told you one of these days I'm going to pull them up on my screen, I'm going to read them myself. Because I feel like you don't be wanting to read the bad comments. Trust me. Even if we get one. We could, I mean, if you want, you could just, yeah, she was, yeah, B was trying to say, read the nasty comments. Now what, now what you're doing is you're going to encourage nasty comments and then people It's not are just that I'm encouraging com nasty comments. This, we have freedom of speech and I don't want you to feel like you jumping over somebody because they may have said something that. Never. You, no, no, no. Oh, okay. No. I'm just saying all comments. Bad or whatever is oh, a good comment I don't, to me. I don't block. I mean, unless it's like a spam bot, I don't block anybody on Two Funny Mamas or this. Okay. Um, you know, because no, I hey, love when you thing. read you your boy be... Ed's comment. Ed was like, something. <laughs> but I'm just saying, we needed to hear that. And I think you need to come to terms with like 99.9 .9 of the people, percent of the people that tune in are like kind of in love with you. So deal with it. Well, that's... Sorry. <laughs> 
True. I, I appreciate. Believe me, I want people to show the love. But like I said, I don't want you to leave out somebody that be like, oh, I'm going to stop watching y'all because y'all don't fucking start on time. I don't. You know, or something like I, that. See, the, you, you've got a tight, tight community here. And it's people Good. tune in to learn and be silly and all that stuff. There's been con like people leave comments afterwards like, I wish Chris would stop <laughs> interrupting you. Or like if there's a guest host. Uh, and they don't, mm -hmm. and they don't love the guest host. They'll leave that. But I'm, I'm serious. When I'm, you know, people can air their, air it out. But yeah, I, you don't get. It's a rare that they do it live in the comments. Yeah, and I'm yeah. sure there's some. Okay. And I've read some negative stuff about me before. So hey, B wants you to be more negative. So stop having fun. No, I don't. <laughs> I, did, I did not say that. What I said is. <laughs> Don't feel like you can't read one if somebody oh, says sure. something funky. I don't want them to feel like, oh, that's why I don't be saying shit. They don't never read my comments. So it might be one of them be like, I'm never reading your comments because you're always saying funky shit. I might want to hear it. It might be something. They might be like, oh, tell yes. B her, we can see her mustache every week or some shit like that. And you might not want to be like, you might want to text me and be like, B, someone in the comments said they can see your mustache every week. And then you know I ain't gonna do shit but read it out loud. January says nobody's saying negativity, B. We all have love for, for you and Chris. Uh, Jamila's laughing. Uh, MM says Chris better never stop interrupting you. <laughs> Monica <laughs> says the fans in the chat love you. If they're negative comments, we in the chat sets that person straight. Alicia, B. I believe it. I'm sure the Picasso shut it down. Yeah. And they Alicia, shut it down. I'm Alicia, to start looking at shit myself. Alicia's right. The rude comments okay. are rare. They really are. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay. All mm -hmm. right. <laughs> All right. Well, let me go into my DYK today, which was actually submitted to me courtesy of uh, Tavia, a.k.a. Cali Girl. And I like how Tavia did it. She submitted three things all in one little email. I was like, okay, for the BIY and a irks and work wow. and a DYK. I was like, I love that. Okay. Let's research for me. And I read everything that she sent, looked stuff up, printed things out. I was like, okay, thank you. Thank you, Callie girl. I know you in the comments. So you are my star of the night. Wow. Shining bright. Yeah, she just started a night bright, shining bright in my book because I was like, shit, I got three things. She covered three shits segments in one hit. I was like, she gets, she gets an get associate, associate oh, wait producer credit. Oh, shit. Get it, Tavia. Oh, oh, oh. That's for her. <laughs> shit. Wow. Is, we're <laughs> having a big show. Going. This is great. Okay. So she sent this. She did a, a paper in school on this person, and she sent, submitted this information, which I thought was very interesting. So I, it's a lot, but I've, I've highlighted some points I really wanted to pick out about this person. So this person we're featuring tonight for the DYK, his name is Hans Ernst Matzelinger. And I'm hoping I'm saying the last name right. It's M-A-T-Z-E-L-I-G-E-R. So I, it's German and Dutch. Mats Zellinger. You think that's Zellinger? I would say Zellinger. Chris? Zellinger. My, my, Zellinger. My yeah. Zellinger. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to say your boy Han, because I ain't going to read that whole shit all through this. <laughs> your boy Han. Now who, <laughs> now, now, now who needs a backup translator? <laughs> <laughs> Me. I'm my own translator. That's right. I'm translating. I'm doing, see, Chris, and I'm doing what you should be doing. So when people can't <laughs> okay. quite get it right, you hit it like wait, this. Wait, we have an important message in the live chat. Yes. Launer says, hey, Chris. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> Your boy name is J-A-N, and we know if you are Dutch, it's pronounced Han. So Jan. 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 Yeah, Jan. Mm -hmm. You're right. Jan. You're right, Chris. Was born in Dutch Guiana, now Suriname. His father, Ernst Motzellinger, I'm going to say that, and that's the last time, was mm -hmm. a third-generation Dutchman of German descent living in Dutch Guiana capital city of Paramiabo. Paramiaribo. He yeah. owned and operated the colonial shipworks that had been used in his family for three generations. His mother was a house slave of African descent. She lived on the plantation of which... His father was the owner for time and time. 
<clears throat> in his early years, he left Dutch Guiana at age 19 and worked as a mechanic on the Dutch East Indies merchant ship for several years before settling in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where he first learned to shoe trade. In the early days of shoe making, shoes were made mainly by hand for proper fit. The customer's feet had to be duplicated in size and form for creating a stone or wooden mold called a last from which the shoes were sized and shaped. After five years, I'm jumping into this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> After five years of working to obtain an, uh, a patent for invention, which would automate the shoe laster, he finally obtained it in 1883, a skilled hand laster. And I think Grace already showed that contraption. And he had to, they didn't give him the patent five times because he had to come in and explain how it works for the, for the fifth time. Mm -hmm. But to sum it all up, a skilled hand laster could produce, like a regular person, 50 pairs of shoes in 10 hours. His machine could produce 150 to 700 pairs of shoes a day, cutting shoes and, and piecing them together. So basically what this shoe thing does is put the shoe on the sole, put like mm -hmm. the sole block on the shoe. So he created that, how we get soles on shoes. So it says, uh huh. Jan's invention was perhaps the most important invention for New England. His shoe invention was the greatest forward step in the shoe industry. And, and then they did this. And a 29 cent U.S. postal stamp was issued on September 15, 1991, in honor of Met Zellinger, designed by Barbara Higgins Bond. The stamp depicts him and is a part of the Black Heritage Stamp Series. So shout out to that Dutch brother. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't have, well, they were making them by hand, but for his machine and to mass produce the heel. That's a big deal. Make it last, yeah. So I thought that was very interesting. And shout out again to Tavia for sending that information in. So I really do appreciate that. Associate producer Tavia this evening. Yes, thank you. It. Oh, oh, oh. Chris, you know, before we move any further, you know, I got to get some cash app dances. Oh, please. Maybe that'll get us over oh. 400. We're moving, we're moving the live chat up. We've got oh. more people tuned in. Let's get to 400 people. Okay. Well, let me just show you how my lighter works. You see this? Isn't this so nice? Lynn mm -hmm. sent this oh. for my birthday present. It's red and Look, black this. too. Your colors. Everybody know what's happening down here. They know my colors. Check this out. <laughs> Sweet. I can get this through the airport. I ain't got to worry about it. That's what I'm talking about. Airport, airport. Oh, it. hold up. Oh, oh, it. this is a lot of love. Oh, oh, I might need some music on this. Oh, I got to take okay. my glasses. We have Enjoy music. That. And it's for this very reason. Oh. If you hit up B-flat in the cash app, she'll give you a deal. Mark. Oh, wow. Look at Mark. Jesus. Star, star you know the, about this. This ain't Louis. Star of the beef and bacon. <laughs> The beef and oh, oh. oh, Antonio. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, Lori. We got so many people in the house. So much love. Oh, oh, Shout out to oh. Shonette. Guyana uh, is in the house. Lena and Hill. It's a lot of new love. I'm liking this. New love. Pat, Pat is uh, loving the love. Lori lighter. Nelson. Thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, I Sick in the head. That. Sick in the head oh. loves your hair. Oh, let me give him the baby hair side. Oh, show him the show him the church side. Super fresh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank forever, you, Grace. Forever see hairs fly. Uh, Thank you. Karen L. Howard, where's Melanie Camacho? <laughs> Camacho. I don't know where Melanie is. is By she? the way, Probably Mel where she pronounced her name Camacho. The shit out of her movie, huh? Yeah. Melanie's been busy on the road. She was just here in St. Louis. Melanie Did Camacho. She... she pronounced her name Camacho. Kim and Sherry were like, we've been calling her Camacho for 25 years. For 25. Everybody's been calling her Melanie Camacho. She pronounces for it ever. Camacho. It's Camacho. Melanie Camacho. Yeah. That's, uh. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. she was saying it like that back in the day when she needed a job. And people were probably was like, oh, she ain't, we don't know who that is. We can tell with that name. We can hire them. It wasn't like it was like Rashida Johnson. Mm. So it's like Got Melanie it. Camarcha. Oh, let's take a chance on her. 
Got it. Makes That's sense. That's why my mom named me Beverly. She's like, I'm going to give you a name that'll get you a job. That's my aunt. <laughs> my great yeah. aunt's name is Beverly. <laughs> All right. Well, let's jump right into my final reveal. Oh, please. My approval flip of Dennis's man cave. Hello, Dennis's man cave. Hello, Dennis's man cave. Wow. So when we left off, everyone saw me putting up his little shelves over his signature picture that I painted for him, which was my inspiration for his office. And I'm so glad he just let me have run of the mill in terms of the color, how I brought it all together, the painting and all that great stuff. Mm. So... The only thing that was really frugal in this office is the paint because we had it. I mixed it together and just kind of used leftover. And I wanted to show this because I wanted to let people see how I painted the radiator up there, black and white at the bottom. I love it. It's so, yeah, just it's so a, it's got to so, blend it's, in with that wall. Sleek I was like, is I don't the want word. It to stick out. And I wasn't buying nothing to go over it. So I was like, well, I'm just going to paint it. Yeah. And kind of keep it along the scheme of the baseboards mm, and the walls. Yeah. So That's great. If you really looked at it and didn't look at it, you wouldn't know it was a radiator. Yeah. So we can move on to the next one. So I just wanted everyone to see his initials of his business, HTF, and how I put it, oh, you know, on you. that corner wall. Oof. That is fantastic. Thank you very much, Chris. It took a lot of work, especially painting that ceiling since it's popcorn and um, trimming it mm -hmm. with uh, the white just to kind of give it a, a clean feel. But that red paint that on his wall is the same red paint that was used down here in my office. Oh, so, okay. And that white paint, I was like, I'm using whatever is left over mm -hmm. that we can put together. And the funny thing is that paint, the black paint is our porch paint. It was left over from our, so it's really out. Is that right? Paint. Yes. Using yes, it every is. Every part of it. I'd be using and mixing shit up. I'd yes. be like, it's my house. I don't always recommend people do what I do, but I know me. I'm like, I'm not going to go buy shit. I'm always looking to see what we have first. And if it works, it works. And then I'll buy something. But I was like, no, we're using that paint. Same. I have paint. Now I need that porch paint to touch up the porch. <laughs> but I use it on the walls. <laughs> So I use it on the wall. So that's what that black paint is. So like that's it. all that we had left. So that's why I only did it on that little, just to trim the windows because it's not a lot of wall. So, and then the I windows the to the wall. Yeah, that's around important. his the three windows, it's black. And that's, in the, you know, it's not a lot to paint. So I was like, I can use the black on this area. Mm -hmm. And then what's left, ever left over, you know, whatever is left over, I'll use to do the, the letters, the HTF. Yes. So next photo. So I wanted people to see this at night. Now, his office doesn't even look like this no more, but I wanted people to see. I put drop ceiling squares that I had left over from the kitchen that's upstairs on the second floor. Oh. I spray painted them gray and then stuck little lights up there in the ceiling to cover the spots in the um, popcorn ceiling that were like really like odd or I didn't feel like trying to really fix. So I was like, I'm just going to fucking it. I nailed them and drilled them to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm just using that and just put some lights up there. So those are just remote lights. You just change the battery out. So that's kind of what it looks like lit up at night. So now we'll just keep moving through them because he has it decorated. Look in his at house. this. Hello. Yeah, this is his his vision. He pulled all this together. It's definitely his man cave. Um, he took his fish tank out and he has his little uh, settee in there and his bar his little see his little drink corner mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> i love the red carpet in there yeah it really pops that's his color he inspired me with the red and yellow because i just love red but he's red and black so the that's next nice. photo is all his you know oh, how he has his up. yeah his dj and stuff and you see how neat his desk is it's like nothing is on it mm-hmm yeah he you puts can. like things, everything away. That's one thing I don't, my desk always has papers out and stuff on it. I wish I could have a clean desk like that, but it would never work. No. He has his drumsticks hanging up on the wall behind him. Oh, behind drums? I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Let me see the, uh, the next photo. 
this is a, a cleaner photo. And you can see another one of those squares up on the ceiling. Like I said, it's just a piece of drop ceiling and they're really cheap. They come like 12 in a pack and I had some left over and I was like, I don't know what to do with these. And then I thought about it. I was like, oh, I'm going to put them up. <laughs> I'm going to get the use out of everything. So yeah, this is how he has it set up there now with his uh, Funko Pops and, all, you know, he DJs. He has like a little record player up there. And That's awesome. Well, it's all symmetrical. Album. It's like, I, the, yeah. no wonder you two get along so well. You're both <laughs> on it. So we'll You're show the next it. photo. <laughs> the next photo. Yeah, you can see, um, actually, that's out into the hallway. But I just wanted you to see how clean oh my God. and sleek his, and his office stays like that. Even when he's like doing his podcast up there and has his homies up there, it's always, they're like, they they feel weird, like taking off their shoes. People feel like they can't get comfortable in our house because it's like everything is so, you know, in order. It's like, no, you can chill out, kick can your they? shoes off. Can you know? they? Yeah, smoke, can they? Okay. Yeah, All throw right. ashes on the floor. We'll clean it up. So. Okay. All right. Next uh, photo. Um, the nip yeah, muscle. I definitely wanted to people to see those squares on the ceiling. Cause that's uh, a lot of people have popcorn ceilings that they don't really want to work with, but that was my fix. Just painting the whole thing gray and trimming it in white. That took the longest going around and trimming between the wall and the ceiling with white because uh -huh. it's, it's really hard to paint. You know, I had to like literally go up with a ruler and paint that over yeah. that bumpy ceiling, but that's... it just made it come together and look a little yeah. better. It does, and it's so funny because if a lot of people take chances like that, it looks stupid, but you nailed it. Uh, Thanks. Now, where do you and Dennis's mm -hmm. music... I think I see a Nipsey Hustle clock. I, th I feel like I saw a Rick Ross book or photo. Where do you two's music, <laughs> music tastes uh, crisscross or avoid each other? Uh, they crisscross with our hip-hop. And other than that, they don't cross at all because Dennis... Well, he listens to more conscious hip hop and, you know, more East Coast. I listen to the trap music, real ignorant stuff. <laughs> ignorant. And then he really listens to like R&B and mm. slow music and like Smokey Robinson. He's really an old school music person. I don't be listening to none of that. I'm either listening to like yacht rock, hard rock, reggae, or, or rap. And that's about it. Yeah. Okay, now we know. Great job, yeah, so Dennis. Big, that looks awesome. And I definitely have to give a shout out to Brenda Miller, uh, who's actually in, she's from Philly, but I'm getting ready to help her with her man cave. So I wanted her to see some inspiration of how I did Dennis's office Pete, man cave. So you, you can, see he's like an avid Dallas fan. Unfortunately, I do see that. <laughs> B, B, tell me, uh, yeah. tell me what's the, I see it in the mirror there. And I meant to ask you earlier by his, uh, by that monitor in the back, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. cascading white squares. Did you make those? They're, they're red. I, they're red. I, if, well, they're, I don't know if Grace wanted to go back. No, they're floating no, shelves. No, I see those. Yet, I mean the white underneath that, those, the white. No, those are lights. The white Those are boxes? puck lights that are stuck up underneath the red shelves no, so that when you press them on, about. like each light shines on one of those. Those are his Wakanda uh, Funko no, Pops. No, no. Those are great. But what are right. the white squares on the red wall? Oh, go... I'm sorry. I thought you were talking about the white little things That's underneath okay. those red shelves. Those are mirrors. Very nice. And you made those, though. No, they were in the as is section at Ikea for four dollars. Well, then you sourced them. Yes, that's right. That's <laughs> and right. then they were kind of you deemed up. You so remixed them. them mm -hmm. You got it. I live in that uh, Ikea as is section. <laughs> Joy says, Chris Denman, I bet you listen to trap music. Now I'm a chopped and screwed guy. <laughs> I'm a drill and trap. <laughs> I do I not listen, listen to, to chopped and screwed, shit. but that'd be funny. Oh. Yeah, so there you have it. That is what Dennis's office looks like upstairs. That looks great. It's it's fantastic, and it makes a lot of sense that uh, you all can kind of come together on that design, flow, feel uh, for that. So that's awesome. That's really cool. I bet you're proud of that. I am. 
because I did it maybe like four years ago. Oh, really? Man. Yeah. You guys are a great match. Like he's, he's kept that thing up. And changed it a lot. And I really, and I don't, it's funny because I haven't been in that room in so long. And I went up to take some final pictures a few days ago. I was like, damn, he got this. He got that. I was looking around like at all this new stuff in amazement. Like I would never go in there. He He's flipped like, your no flip. Reason. The last time I was in there is when we did our Married to Funny podcast. Mm, got it. And that yeah. was when we taped it maybe like a month ago. Mm. And he edited it. So I don't really go in there. Yeah. There's no reason for me to go. I go over there and be in my yoga room and I'm go back down the steps. So we got a good question. Uh, you yes. may know this, you may not. I don't know the reason. Uh, Kira J says, Chris, can you ask B, why do people make popcorn ceilings? What's the purpose? Well, back in the 70s, people did it because it was like the thing to do. Yeah, aesthetic, it, was it was just really an aesthetic cheap, choice. It was an aesthetic choice, and it was also a really cheap way to fix ceilings, just like paneling back in the day was a really cheap way to throw things up to cover you know the plaster walls and where right. you can see the slats and stuff in the wall so it was just one of those things that you know i'm glad it faded out and they don't do this shit anymore because it's hard to get off you want you want a wild comment kira j yeah. kira j follows up the popcorn ceiling comment with chris you need to give kim some of that white gangsta uh <laughs> And then use the, uh, the uh, what is it, what it's the oh my gosh, what it's eggplant eggplant emoji. So thanks, Kira J. You want bad comments? What the hell do they got to be with a popcorn ceiling? Hey, I just you want you want all the comments? You get them. There you go. All right, filter then. off. Well, you know I'll be trying to. I would like the ones that I can understand or make sense, or are relevant <laughs> or something. Shit, I didn't even get that. You know that went over my head. I'm the last one oh. to get shit. Chris. Oh so my read gosh. that one to me later again. Let's, again. Oh um, my gosh. Tiffany, uh, give, don't feel bad, Chris. I only know the lyrics because of Sandra Bullock and Betty White. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's keep it moving. What's next? All right. <laughs> Let me do this quick. I'm giving out two quick BIY tips before we get into my back by popular demand BIY. Mm. And I'm giving this shout out again to Tavia, Cali girl in the house. Oh my God. And I didn't know this, but it's a great tip. And I'm probably going to use it because I have a lot of broken eyeshadow. She says, and I'm going to read it. Let me put my glasses on. If for the ladies or whoever wears eyeshadow shit, if your eyeshadow is broke, just add a little rubbing alcohol to it and let it dry completely. You can use a toothpick. Toothpick to mix it a little, it will stick together and then you're good to go. I didn't know that. And I have a lot of broken eyeshadow I normally just throw away because I it starts to just be a mess and fuck up your jewelry. I mean, you're like makeup box and be all over the place. So now that I know that, I'm definitely going to try that with some rubbing alcohol. Now, another t when she sent that, it prompted me to give out a little tip I use for nail polish you know, that starts to separate and gets thick and starts to look a little old. And when you take it out and it looks clumpy, mm -hmm. I put nail polish remover in there. Mm. Uh, four or five drops, shake it up really good, let it set, and then it starts to settle and smooth it all out. And then you don't have to throw your nail polish away. Look at that. Um, so that's a quick BIY. And again, shout out to Tavia for sending that one for those that. of us that wear eyeshadow because I have a lot of it. So... With that being said, moving on to my BIY, Bag by Popular Demand, I had six people hit me up via Gmail and DM about how to make uh, my initial reading mm. glass holders. Love, love that and this design. was the one that broke and then I fixed. And Chris, why well, I got super glue on the lens today, now I got to look up how you get super glue off. <laughs> Off of shit. So the question that was posed to me the most is there a way to make these without having to do it and cut wood? And I thought about it because I said to myself, everybody, you know, I'm always using leftover pieces of flooring, which this is made from. And I was like, everybody doesn't have a saw. 
everybody can't cut wood. Everybody just don't have a piece of wood laying around, you know, that may fit the size. So mm. what I thought about, I said, booyah, everybody has lids. Everybody has lids. So I'm going to show you a little hack that I came up with today for making some reading glass holders out of lids. So I'll show you the ones that I made today. And, and I'm, I'm going to show you some really cool tricks and what you need to make them. So this is made out of a lid. And I painted, spray painted this lid black. This is made out of a lid. I didn't even spray paint this. I just added my little pieces and my fixtures to it. Beautiful. I'll let you see. Thank you. I put this paper, this little, I have some mini clips. So this is the little mini clip. Now here's the trick. Let me just show you another one before I go back to that trick. This is the one I made out of a candle lid. All of these things are metal. So because of that, I use super glue because I found that the glue gun, I painted this. Once it's stuck on here, it actually, when I put the glasses on and the paper clip, it came off and the paint came off. So the, the, I found that the glue gun doesn't work well on the metal, but the super glue does. So if you have super glue and you need two lids to make this project, you need a front lid and you need a back lid because obviously most lids are hollowed out. So you wouldn't be able to just put this to the wall, nice. just a lid by itself. Yep. So that's why you need two lids. You need one for the front and then one to put in the back. So when you put the lid in the back, what I did here on this one, I took my little thing of super glue here and went around the lid. And then I just stuck it in the back. And then I secured it once it was inside of there with my glue gun. So I just took the glue gun and went around the back just to make sure I have this secured in the back because you're going to need backing to mount this wherever you may put it. Right. So what I did was this is my little, I put the Velcro on the back. Oops. And look, that shit just pulled the thing off. I wasn't supposed to pull it off yet, but anyway. I put right. the Velcro on the back so that I can stick this wherever I want it. So now I'm going to have to, uh, once I mount it, I won't have to move it. But now that I know I need to secure this more, as you can see, this just pulled away from there. But that's definitely to let everybody know if you're going to recreate these and you can't cut wood or whatever, just collect some lids, collect some little pieces. This is actually some eyelets and grommets that I have. I had like a little box of eyelets from my sewing mm -hmm. kit I'm yep. making those yeah little things that i'm pulling around from around the house if you don't have cord like dennis got me for christmas for crafting you can i just use a white pen i actually drew this on here with a white pen drew a little smiley lip little white marker nice. nothing major at all and then for the eyes, of course, I use the little felt pads. So that do you, you know, agree? With, do you agree with Cicely adding a magnet to throw it on the fridge? There you go. Like this one has the magnet on the back. So mm. this is the one that I do keep on my refrigerator. Well, not with these glasses anymore, since they got super glue on the lens. Mm. But I even used for this little mini one here. I'm going to use the back of this biscuit lid to give me my backing. And it fits in this little lid perfectly. Look at that. See that? So once I glue this in there, then I'll have a backing to put my, whatever adhesive I'm going to use, my double-sided tape or whatever, to stick this on something for my glasses. Beautiful. So I'm using this one once I put it back together to stick on this box because I need these glasses these are my readers that I need right here on my desk. So I have this little heavy box that I keep junk in on my desk. Mm -hmm. So once I get it together, I'm going to put it right on <laughs> mm. there like that. I love it. That's great. Thank you. And it's going to sit right here on this desk. So yes, that was my bag by popular demand. And all you need is some paper clips. I'm sorry, not paper clips. Clothes pins. 
I had these little mini clothespins that I use around Christmas time from the dollar store. Yep. Um, but you probably can get them on Amazon through my link. <laughs> Pinned in the live chat. And look, all you have to do, like I said, is collect lids. And once you get them and you can size them and, ba- you know, just throw one in the back, glue it in there, throw your thing on the back, and booyah, you got your little cute little look at that. reading glass, sunglass, or however you want to use it, little holder. Love it. I use the belt loop for that. Like when Oh, you nice. Like it fell off? Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, you or have you those just, old school belts you stole with the it, canvas. You stole- you stole it off a of dentist. He's trying to put his belt on tomorrow. No, morning. actually, I have like a hell? box of them in my sewing kit. And I used them when I made my belt loops that go up my steps when I made my railing. You know, I made them little grips for my girls to pull themselves mm-hmm. up the steps. I made them with these. Yep. And made the little belts. So, yeah, that's what, that's just a little thing to make the little mouthpiece. So, yeah, that's L- just a little cute lid. How about so this? So, you don't have to worry about cutting wood or anything. You can't beat it with a baseball bat. Never. How about this? From well, living I'm definitely going to reach out. And I, de- I definitely had to give a shout out to, um, uh, oh, shit, I thought I wrote her name on my paper. I didn't, but I'm call- she knows who it is. I'm going to call. I have to call her because I told her I, I, we have to go over some things about these reading glasses, some okay. other tips. And, right. But I want to make sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a list up again just so people know what they need. It's a little simple stuff around the house and alternatives. And I always tell people, if you're working with a hot glue gun, make sure you use a stick or something or old knife so you don't burn yourself. Mm. And these were my skewers that I had for my vegetables that I just broke in half. And I just use these to move things around and for the super glue so you don't get the shit on your fingers like yeah, me. Yeah, that's a big oh, yeah. problem. Uh, living so, the- Chris, you see how I'm a genius? I came up with this today today look today with wow. the lids oh my god yeah i was like i know I it is very shit. nice me, yeah. i lit my joint i was like let me put my thinking cap on because you know i'll be focused when i'm smoking you that's are. my next shirt i've noticed yes. that about you yeah that'll be the next thank shirt you. okay yes thank you that's my next shirt smoke is when i'm focused when i'm smoking what about smokest what about Spendo. hashtag smoking? I'm gonna come I'm, up with something. I'm smoking. I'm sure I'm I will. Smokest. Okay. <laughs> I'm smokest. Yeah. That's your and new saying. There with it my is. glasses. Hashtag. And a. I'm smokest. I'm smokest. Yes. Everybody be quiet. Get on that, Lynn. Get on that, Sisley. Get on that, quiet. Get on me a design with some glasses and a puff of smoke and like a little smile saying Do I'm it. smoking. Do it. Hang on. Yeah, that would be a tight ass shirt. I need to okay. get sm- I need to get smokest. All right, hang on. Well, yeah, I need to get smokest. Oh shit! Let me write that down, Chris. There you go. Don't be trying to sue me for the rights. Oh, that when I, I blow up and get rich, and you be like, I'm the one that came up with that. I'm have to send you I a have, release. I have proof like uh, that we created that together. So yeah, smokest, yeah. smokest, smokest. All right. <laughs> That's a real note she's taking, people. Oh, my gosh. How about a few comments? That's what's up. Give me some comments before I do my cash app dance and we get into our feature. Kalisa Fisher, so creative. Love it. GT Davika 23, that's creative. Ivy's World, very nice. Uh, Thank M- you. MM's been a Thank lid you. collector his whole life. Uh, Loretta Piper's having a good time. Living the moment. I like this. Uh, tip, use acetone to remove the super glue. I don't. Oh, I'm gonna do that because I have some from my the nail polish. It's like straight ap- acetone nail mm-hmm. polish remover. Thank uh, you. Let me write that down. For there you, you go. Know, I gotta Take write another you note. Down, Take another getting, note. Being smoke is all also makes you slip in the mind well, a little bit. You know, being smokest, you you have you lose a few. Sea breeze says, "Hey, being Chris." Uh, other Thank folks you, chiming in. Heather is uh, chiming in. Miss 007's here. Uh, Dorothy is saying something. B, you would be okay. a great art therapist for children with autism. I used to do art therapy for kids at a shelter for years oh. here, youth emergency services here in Philadelphia. That's, That's where I came up with like the boxes and shoot. Cause I used to have to teach the girls how to keep their stuff separate from the other girls at the shelter. So I would create little yeah. boxes for them to keep their stuff in. And mm. 
you know, I've been doing this. I've always been a humanitarian. You are trying to help people out on the budget because I've always been on the budget all my life. I love budgeting. What are you and dabbing your forehead with? With my flash rag. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to wipe down for a diviner. Ooh, check it out. Oh, Sean oh. says great project for Mother's Day. Totally agree. Mia Nelson have a, is having a hot flash. Ah, hot flash. The Michael That's right. in the house. That's a sympathy flash from uh, from Mia for you. Susan's laughing. Ava says smokest. Oh, Lolo. Oh, I got much love. Divana oh. in the house. Lolo oh. hit you up. Shout out to Lolo. Lolo 12. Ow. Oh. Oh, <laughs> and heal in the house. I got a lot of love in the house. Always, so I appreciate it. Well, and you Ryan, think oh, and, well, and you Ryan think negative comments. Oh, great. Oh, great. Greasy, look, DV, greasy. Oh, go. You don't know nothing about that, Stanky Lee. Not at all. Mm -mm. Wow, look at it go. <laughs> Her knee is cooking tonight. Uh. I'm a mess. Oh, but it's the best mess. kind of mess. The best kind of mess. Mm. Thank you. All right. Well, you know, I got to show love. I'm finally featuring. I want everybody to take a last look at our great shirts that we will be getting printed up very soon. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely showing love if Grace wants to throw that up to our five people, Quincy, Sophia, Kiki, Brandon, and Maya. You see those lovely designs. Shout out. And let me just jump to whatever Grace throws up first. Because I want people to know, like, for example, with this, this is going to be our first runner-up shirt. Uh, shout out to Sophia Lionel. <laughs> But I do want her to know that, like, I'm going to, it will be edited because I'm going to have to take off B flat. I don't want my name on there, but I love that this looks like a Picasso painting. And that's mm -hmm. probably why everybody voted for it. So for the most part, and then where it says tighten up Tuesday, that's going to come off. So I just want her to know that, that when like, because the release forms are actually going out tomorrow with some instructions. But I, we're keeping the B and the Picassos, but it's definitely not going to say tighten up Tuesday or B flat. So, but I just want people Love to kind of look at that and know that they were going to be wearing these shirts. And they will, most of them won't be modified. We're really going to try and stick to the actual, you know, design. But like I said, the saying will say, we flip it and make it fly. So the next one, shout out to... To Sophia again is Kiki's and hers is good to go and the only thing is like, like I said we'll be adding the person's name to it designed by if she wants it to say Kiki more or at Kiki more you know all of that will be submitted you are so thoughtful B I know and then right underneath there it's gonna say we flip it and make it fly so that'll be the uh, second edition that'll come out the month after the first one so got it hopefully that'll run in july and this hopefully will be our august shirt which is maya beans and we don't have to do anything to that other than ha add her name you know and hopefully we'll put i'm not i don't want it to interfere with the drip so i'm going to figure out the placement of where we'll put the we flip it and make it fly so mm -hmm. yeah but got you covered in the red and black uh, got it covered it yes got covered department. in the red and black mm -hmm. and then of course we'll be featuring brandon and hopefully his arrival around uh, uh september nice his month and it'll be easy to throw you know right up under the paintbrush swoosh the um we flip it and make it fly and i love that just the way it is so we won't be doing anything to that other than adding his design by brandon smith Kanisha and, and Daphne love Cicely's idea to make one of those a t-shirt dress. A t-shirt dress. Oh, let me write that down. Got to make notes. That's what my notebook is for. Daphne and I were talking about that earlier and Quincy in terms of the shirt styles that will be offered in the actual Picasso shirt. And speaking of which, we have our live designer. But, oh, look at that. I'm just, I can't wait till we rock that. Yes. That's, that's I can't wait. Mm. So nice. So with that, 
And that's how, now that's what I want people to kind of look at and give me some ideas on. Because you see how I put the Fs in the H, where it says we flip it and make it fly. Mm -hmm. I'm playing around with that like I did on my frugal flip aprons. But it, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to use that font or, you know, but I'm playing around with it. But I just want people to kind of see that is going to be our final saying on all of the Picasso t-shirts. That's what we're going to say. We flip it and make it fly. I want these, you know, I want everybody to be able to wear them. I don't want it to say we flip shit and make it fly. That's what we say on the show. Because I want you to be able to go to work. Or wherever you are out of the grocery store and wear the shirt. I don't want little kids to be like, Oh, grandma, you got a bad word on That's your right. shirt. Yeah. Right. Be ready. <laughs> we, grandma. Now, East, Easter has passed, but be ready for the Tighten Up Tuesday uh, Sunday service line. So get ready. <laughs> All right. Um, well, can we bring our feature on? I don't know, Grace. Oh, it's Quincy. Hello. What's up, oh, Quincy? Hello, Louis in the house. <laughs> well, Louis in the house. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Quincy. Great to see Quincy. What's going house. on, y'all? Hey, how are you, the Picasso creator? <laughs> I know MM saying something crazy right now. Well, <laughs> I'm waiting for the moment. Quincy, <laughs> we have to let the people know that you came up with the term Picasso. You just all around. Yes. So yes. you get plenty of credit. So I just <laughs> now we can put an, a face to the name. This Thank you guys. Is for, you guys show me creator. so much love. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. And then here <laughs> you are winning the design for the name that you created. You should no, be getting some kind of money off this, Chris. Not, I mean, Quincy. Now that I thought about thought about it, you should talk to Chris. Okay, Chris. Yeah, I'll, I'll cut. You. I'll cut. <laughs> with a cash app at. All with right. a cash app at. Let's discuss this. I'll cut and you. Chris into say, well, you should talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm so then, glad. No, you, you guys, you guys do so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I am so <laughs> glad you're able to join us and yes. talk to us briefly about your because. I love when you hit me up with the email saying that there were some like fun facts and things about the design. So I know you wanted to show us a few things also regarding the design. So I'm going to mm -hmm. take it over from here. However, Grace wants to, um, if you want to show the things first or, you know, but before you get into any of that, you know, I wanted you to kind of tell the people your inspiration. You know, they already know you're from St. Louis because I put it out there already. But if you want to give them a little background on. Well, Quincy, I, well, I I'm a, originally I've, from, uh, from Arkansas. I'm sorry, Chris. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, I have a question from the audience before you get started. Seabreeze40 says Quincy is the Picasso mayor? Question mark. I'd like to answer that. Are you? Is the Picasso mayor? Yes. Mayor. Mayor. I guess. The He's alderman, real. whatever you want to call me. <laughs> you the mayor. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Got it. Well, there's your answer. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so my inspiration, since we're all like Picassos, we're art artists, we do DIYs. The actual, this is the actual like design. I didn't finish it, so it's unfinished. Oh, it's, like seeing, it's with... like seeing the first version of Mickey Mouse. Exactly. Yeah. So I started with the hammer, if you can see that right in there. I started with the hammer, and then I was okay. like, you know what? Let me put a little art artist palette up in there, too. So what I did, I started with that, and then when I looked at it, I was like, okay, I can make the B out of, you know, just outline it. So that's basically what I did. And then I used the paintbrush coming through the palette as the dash for the Picasso. And then when I, um, when, when I did the... So I just kind of wanted to do some, like a freehand. So I did it freehand. I just drew it out. It was stacked at first. And when I looked at it, it was kind of like a little too um, bunched up. And then my husband, Luis, a.k.a. Pops, he Shout looked at it Luis. and he had to, cri he had to critique uh -huh. it. That's what he does. So <laughs> that's what, now that it's, you just spoke that with uh, a man who's been through that a time or two. That's that's what he There's does. Some experience Chris. in your voice. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Got it. Got it. Got it. And so he was like, um, and that's it's a little too busy. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I took <laughs> I would like to be there for that. 
Uh, y'all don't even understand. The day oh. that I told him that um, the design won, he was like, you're welcome. I was like, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but basically I put the palette on there and I was like, okay, I'll take that out. So once I took the palette out, I was like, okay, it's a, a little cleaner. And um, I just kind of like went from there. And then instead of having all the letters stacked, I just kind of like separated them, but it's all freehand and that's it. And and with the, with the hammer, actually also, it's also a P for B flat. Okay. 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 All right. What did, what so did that, Louise, what did Louise was, think of that? Huh? You know what, Chris? We're not even going to get into it right now. So, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> he was a, you know, I like that. Team. But no, but oh, that, was, that was basically the thing. That's so, I'm glad you put that up close. When I first saw that palette, you know, my screen is blurry. I said, like, that looked like uh -huh. a silicone titty. Not a silicone titty. <laughs> when I first looked at it, I was like, that's a silicone titty. All right, all right. All right. Of it's the three of us. Surprise. And then I could see the circles. Because you know, my screen is blurry. B, and it uh -huh. shouldn't be with this nice ass Mac. But I was like, why he got one of them fake titties on my oh, feet? Now look right. at the titty. Oh, Whole question. Because I can't. <laughs> it's not the design. It's my screen, Quincy. So that's why we did it. I was like, oh, that's an easel palette thing. I could see the circles. But at first it was like mm -hmm. a big blur. It looked like a, you know, I was like, you got a titty on there? <laughs> All right. Of the three of us, who's seen the most plastic <laughs> Who's seen the most plastic? Who votes Quincy? Let me know in the chat. B, I think B might have us all beat, despite me dating people I with, watched, with said plastic. I watched that <laughs> show, watched. They oh, become on, something else. And like, they be well, showing them little fake, and then they be taking it out, and they be looking like jelly and shit. And B, I was like, be crazy. B got, an, like, B got an associates. <laughs> B got an associates through watching botched. That's okay. I get it. Botched oh. is something else. I love it. Here's my question to you. Uh -huh. How are you able to draw that out and then get it and recreate it into the program? Or how does that process work? So what I do, basically, uh -huh. I just take a photo. I took a photo of this. Okay. I emailed it. I emailed it to myself from my phone. And then okay. I just like, I just traced it into um, Adobe Illustrator. Did you guys see Dennis? Oh, the and then you went in and you clean it up. And, and then I went in and just kind of, Exactly. Okay. And so, and what I did is if you look at the letters, I took those letters, I kind of drew them out in Illustrator and then I separated them. Okay. And so that's, that's what I did. And okay. then with the paintbrush, with the paintbrush, I wanted Casso to kind of like, to emphasize Casso. So that's mm -hmm. why I put the paintbrush at the bottom of Casso. Yeah. I like so that. Be, be so. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm, Mayor Q has spoken. I can't wait to get my shirt. Oh, my oh. God. is this a first oh, time? Well, well, well. Oh, wow. Oh, Look at the cat dragged in. Oh, what the Interesting. Oh, my bug came Hello. down here to thread through. All right. Oh, who is this? Who is this? Just in oh. time. Oh, thank you, love bug. I don't want to mess up. If it's not if it's not <laughs> if it's not the Colonel from Friend Fish Nasty Friday. Hello. Right. Yes, it is I. Love her. Yes, it is. You should get the chair. Lunch and Saturday. Who are okay. going to be closer to the screen? Or at least I mean so the camera. Man, what a night. I just turned the heat on. I so knew what I was gonna say. We have it's Quin we have high. Mayor Quincy. <laughs> We've got Dennis. <laughs> You don't want to raise up the side. No, I'm good. I'm okay. here for a long time. I was going oh, to say that. Wow. Oh, I'm, I'm just cheating. What's good, Dennis? Oh, good. And here I'm I thought, cheesy. here I thought B, B's botched education was going to be the best part of the show. Dennis walked Oh, right I'm about up. to have mad hot flashes. I ain't going to be able to finish the damn show. Because he, oh, look at this. He don't you know, make me have a flash. It's gonna be a puddle. Yes, there is, and it's not from a hot flash. That's for sure. Exactly. Uh -huh. I heard you, Chris. You heard what Chris said. What? Talking about no. it, it ain't, it's gonna be a puddle. It ain't gonna be from a hot flash. Now, first of all, first of all, Quincy said it. I I gave it. A, oh, I, I, get, I tagged it. I tagged it. That's all. Oh well, you heard what they said. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna be a puddle. 
Now where are they? Oh, Quincy, where are they? Don't tell Luis. <laughs> it's not hot. Turn the heat off. <laughs> okay. Sonia, Sonia says, what? It's actually Dennis. Brick a brac. Yeah, Y'all are really I cute. I Tiffany. I, I, I saw you have a spotlight and I was enjoying it. I was watching the show. Oh, thank you, baby. Yeah, I'm glad so you it was a great show. show. Thank you. I just came to say hello and y'all doing a great job. I'm watching the show, so I don't want to be on it. I just want to watch it. Enjoy it. Hello, everyone. Wait, um, I know you Dennis, Dennis, no, no, don't, right now. don't be a tease. Don't be a tease. He a mess. He is. I, I uh, had you to, do I got, thread through. That was quick. <laughs> you know, I was going to thread through. I mean, oh, I want to watch y'all. Oh, well, wow. dang. Man. I had to get the chair out and shit. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's like sending a text <laughs> message. They respond. and then. Oh. Oh, I thought oh. she was going to be sitting down here with us. <laughs> I'll be here, baby. Oh, thank Dan you, love, bro. I appreciate you saying hi yeah. to the people. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Well, people are loving it. People are loving it. He said he wants Quincy to finish his spotlight. Because he did a great job with the logo. I appreciate really that, Dennis. Oh, thank my God. You. Quincy's having a flash now, too. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> I know. And Quincy got flash rags. <laughs> oh, Quincy, don't forget so. to show everybody your basket. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And what you, and your fly picture that I sent sick, you. B, B, sick in the head says Dennis needs to do it live ask Chris Deasy. That's pretty funny. Oh, did you, but, okay. did you hear that? So this has to be featured with a PH. This my, is my favorite thing, B, you came through when yeah. you came up with this idea. Oh my gosh, that's so yes, perfect. I look, B, I was so excited when it came through. I was like, I came in and Luis was like, um, you got a big old box over there for, you know, I was like, what do you mean? And when I looked, I was so excited. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Welcome. She I'm sent this school. card with sophisticated ignorance. My it's a postcard. Card. It says, thanks, Quincy, so much for listening to your instinct and entering the contest. You're the best. Be flat, wow. loose style. And so I, right. I do, I appreciate I put this on for um i'm gonna put this on for fish nasty fridays oh no. okay this is gonna be, all right <laughs> this is gonna be all i wear i'll smoke you know today look how confident okay, crazy is. is that's true that's the that, truth, that, truth. That's do, the do it <laughs> do it <laughs> with your fish and nasty friday popping and she sent a polo cap a cap too so i'll that's put that courtesy on. That'll be my of my husband fish nasty fridays. big fan huh? of that's fish courtesy nasty of dennis Friday, dennis put the hat and his bands in there thank you but, so much the courtesy, courtesy of whole tight thank you. well it's gonna it's gonna get used on fish nasty friday okay well I appreciate inspiring it. that's all you need is the hat and the apron that's right you need to have an apron on for your spatulas and stuff and more exactly there you and go more. there you go <laughs> you, all, you all you all have inspired a nation look at you look at but you. no it was so so much so much in here my toolbox is over here Okay. Um, I have the markers and everything, and the markers, for some reason, I'm going to be using these because I always sign my paintings with the, um, with the paint marker. Yeah. And so these, these are perfect. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Paint, and all the, the bands, I got three more flash rags. Flash. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I think I'd rub some corny opinion, if I'm going to be reading these cards every day, too. Good. So, I mean... It, it's it's a great it's a great gift basket. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, we appreciate the lovely design and just how you no, just jumped welcome. in and shut it down, basically. Thank you, you did so get much. sixty six percent of the vote, so I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, fam. It. Thank y'all. Yes. So and then that just goes to show how the Lou represents. It's a lot of greatness that's in the Lou and it you know I I can't help I, but spotlight I, it. I sometimes wonder if maybe, maybe between the, us and the uh, and the St. Louis listeners, maybe we make it a little unrelatable at times. <laughs> I always well, wonder Chris, who's tired of hearing here, about here. intricacy. It's of just St. funny Louis. how I love it. in the beef. I'm guilty. Of, I do it. I do it every every show. Mark shut it down. You know he shut it down. He from oh. he was in there clowning out, talking about. And before we leave, can we give a special shout out for Felicia's BIY baby hair? 
Do you have one? I'll, I'll say this. Well, he was cutting up on everybody, going around, just cracking on everybody in a fun, funny way. And I was like, he's so I mean, St. Louis. He keeps me rolling. Yeah, so Mark <laughs> is funny. So it's just the St. Louis thing, I guess. Yeah, and I can't, I can't, I can't. And deny Chris, it. you funny when you want to be. I'm just looking. <laughs> Blog and tease. Da, 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 da. Ah. Blog and tease <laughs> says. Hold on now. Blog and Tease says St. Louis, bruh. Blog and Tease. I'm from Memphis. All right, Blog and Tease. Ja Morant. Shout Bro, out to Ja Morant. You got a real lighter. Yeah, this one right here. I think I need to charge it back up. Shout out to Lynn. Thank you for the birthday present and getting it through the airport. She's been thinking about it. She know how I roll. Congratulations you know on helping B break the law. I hope you're happy. Okay, Lynn the smuggler. Mm -hmm. we got Ain't you. no breaking the law. <laughs> they just would be taking a lighter. It's not illegal. I don't want them confiscating my good lighter. They might think this is like a vape pen. Hang and on, I'm wait. Like, no, it's a lighter. Wait, we've got a message from uh, DEA number one in the live chat. It says, you're okay. mine, B. Uh-oh. What? what was a this? message what in the say? live chat says, the name is DEA number one. It says, you're mine, B. All right, this is over your head. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't, that's why I smoke, Chris. Uh, never right mind. Right there. It wasn't that funny. <laughs> okay, you're mine. So we're, discuss right. we're discussing contraband, and I made the joke that the DEA entered the live chat and said, B, oh. you're mine. Oh. <laughs> it's always funny when I you, you it's always fun when you have to break jokes the jokes down. That go over my head, mine that I don't be. get. The white side of me, Chris, only comes out during Black History Month, that last <laughs> week when I get to celebrate. And then there you go, throwing that out. That's my, oh, my mistake. So said, my mistake. Oh, let me get off the, the track pad and throw and shut, shut up on the screen. This why do you always, set. why do you break down what you're doing? Oh, because every time I turn around, remember last time I breezed over it and it sh shut the whole motherfucking screen off. <sighs> That's that, these Mac, they know what they're doing. They control this stuff. Anyway, Chris, you know it's time for the Ask Chris Deasy. Oh, uh, we don't have Quincy, to do that. I'm not sure if you're staying on with us or if you're hanging out. I'll let you and Chris and Grace be the judge of that if you want to hang with us. But we're doing our Ask okay. Chris Deasy. How, how, how are you going to throw the axe on us? What do you mean? If you don't <laughs> want Quincy on the show, watch. say so. <laughs> tell, tell her, Chris. Tell her. Dennis going to put some Ask Chris Deasy's in the comments. Oh, okay. oh! In the comment, he doesn't want to ask. And what mine. Chris say about talking about is my show what? Oh, I was saying if you want De if you want Quincy off the show, don't put the onus on us, me, Grace, and uh, Quincy. Oh no, 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 mm. no, no! Because you know, I would say uh, my thing is I'm not sure how we trying to put Quincy out the show if he's staying up on the screen, staying in the show. I'm giving him that option. Y'all are the producers that work the screen. Did I do it right, Quincy? That was not you good. did it right. That was not good. <laughs> I can't wink. No. Look, in all honesty, that's up to you. We're uh that's up to you, Quincy. Normally I would put okay. people off the screen. I'm not putting you off the screen. I'm talking shit because you mm. won the contest. You I got the right. It. No. Yeah, so shit. And then Dennis went upstairs. He said he's going up to put in some ass Chris Deezy's in the comments. Why didn't he ask That's live? <laughs> because he, my husband's funny. It's hilarious. I, I let him do his own thing. All right, so our ask, we, before we get into Ask Chris D's, you know we got the irks and works. All right, so guess where the irks and works comes in from? Dun, 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 dun. Tavia. <laughs> I told you. No, Chris, if you don't Tavia. like Tavia, if you don't like Tavia's segments, you can Cali call me. Cali girl, she the choice. producer of the day. Got she it. She gets the black <laughs> on the wall. Mm. Producer of the day. So her irk is one of my many irks in work is how so many people out here in Cali like to bring their dogs into the store, and it ain't a CNI dog. I saw a pit bull in TJ Maxx a few months ago. That's a lawsuit if it bites anyone. People put their dogs in baskets. That's nasty. I hate it. The work is 
Leave the damn dog at home. And Callie should give fines to those who keep bringing them in. <laughs> I agree. Because everybody that brings dogs into the store, they are not, uh, what do they call them? Service not animals. Not the rescue animal. What, are they, what do you call them, Chris? Service animals. Service animals. Can I tell you the worst service animal story ever? Yeah. Yes. It better be. A, you got to work for it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you enact <laughs> laws. Okay. There's a, oh, there's a comic. I got to think of his name. His name is Drew. I've interviewed him. He has a speech impediment. Maybe he was on America's Got Talent. He's a popular. Uh, hang on. All right. Drew, Drew Lynch. Drew Lynch did a show in St. Louis, Missouri. And a big thing is he has a service dog, right? So that's part okay. of it. It's like be with uh, like it, at your shows, people probably bring you joints. Am I wrong? Yeah. Yeah. So people I know, nice. I know. I know the people that bring me my shit. But listen, <laughs> Drew Lynch's thing. I'm just putting that out there as a disclaimer. In case somebody wanted to try to bring some shit to the show that I don't know about. Moving on. Drew, Lin <laughs> Drew Lynch's thing is that he has a service dog. Cool. Inclusive. He reaches out to his fans. He connects to him like that. He did a show at Helium before or maybe during the pandemic. There was a service pony a literal horse in a comedy club because it was somebody's service animal. There was a great Dane. There were all kinds, a service pony made it into a comedy club. That is and what the fuck do a service pony do. It's supposed to call like the little person. Ones? Yes. Like a mini, and like a mini horse. Do Drew's service dog do for his speech impediment. Do the dog talk, talk and interpret the shit he can't say. I mean, what the, I don't know how a dog helps you with a speech impediment. I'm not here to judge against the, the validity of the service dog. I'll draw the line, I'll draw the line at the dog. When you start bringing peacocks on planes and mini horses into comedy clubs, my work is. I knew a lady with glue, a rat. A glue factory. Rat. Glue factory. And it was her Get service rat. I yeah. I, when her I name lived was, in California, her name was Kim Whitley. <laughs> I'm gonna get me a oh, service dog. I was in dog. California. This lady came in with a service rat on her shoulder, and she gave out this card. And she was just and we read the card, and it said, "I have seizures." So the rat could detect whenever she had a seizure. It was the craziest thing I've ever seen, and I hate. And rats. I was it like, was crazy. "Will you have a seizure if I don't give you this dollar?" <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> it was crazy. It was crazy. Wait a minute. <laughs> see, I would need a service dog. Like if I can't roll no more. Like if I got arthritis and then the dog could roll the weed. What, if you can't no, do that, no, you need a you need something. You need like a little, a little <coughs> a service. Uh, Give me a monkey. Give yeah. me a monkey on my shoulder, monkey. I'm trying to think what's got <laughs> raccoon. Monkey. Raccoons have fingers and monkeys have fingers. So oh, take I'm your pick. No raccoons, because raccoons they they got they move. They might try to attack me if I don't treat them right. But a monkey can sit on my shoulder. You like don't think a monkey head. will rip your, your earring out if it's mad? Oh, no, you can trade a monkey. It's going to be, be gone. <laughs> be gone. People carrying around a monkey on their back every day. I would just be having a live one that could roll my joints. <laughs> be my service monkey. <laughs> People carry a monkey around their back every day. Mm -mm. <sighs> I can't see no other reason for me having a service animal, but I see why blind people have them. Uh, I don't know why other people have service dogs like what what you really need them for but i guess you need them if you have a speech impediment or if you have seizures you need a rat and if you have <laughs> <laughs> if you smoke a lot i've seen a lot of veterans with them too with what with service dog with animals like, um service dogs service dogs so, yeah absolutely you know what? i'm learning that service animals are more for mental support a lot hmm. of times other than just physical <laughs> support because i'm just so used to you know the blind person you know with but i guess people need them for i guess if you have PSTD or some reading, shit like that ptsd and, i'm reading you ain't got no man or no spouse nobody oh, speaking of speaking of spouses be put a rat on your shoulder when you have a if you had a man at your house i'm sure he could detect if you was about to have a motherfucking seizure <laughs> be like, like the hospital. Can the rat down nine one one? That's all I want to know. They gonna come for you. They gonna come for you. 
a gentleman a gentleman by the name of Dennis Perkins in the comments says you can't trust a service monkey. <laughs> Oh, fuck. My service monkey. If my service monkey can roll a joint, you damn one one, he gonna be able to dial nine one one, and he gonna say, "Somebody come get him." You catch that service monkey? Oh yeah, he'll be he'll be eating your food. He'll be rolling your joints he's not supposed to. As long as he can uh -uh. get on the phone and say, "Somebody come get him." <laughs> Until oh. then, I'm sure oh, my little thing. It's going. Thank God he'll be around. Mm. I think a lot of that's for you know. I, I don't know. I know people that I know got service animals. They live by themselves. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, I got service, and it ain't no uh, animal. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's do geez. the ask Chris D. Oh, hey. what, what, what? oh man, people are dying in the comments. Oh my, it's time for Ask Chris Deasy. Dennis is going to ask from his man cave in the live chat, <laughs> so we'll get some good ones. Oh, we got a couple of them. Miguel's laughing, Heather's laughing. <laughs> Shout Joyce, out to Miguel, Joyce my day one runner. Nella's having My early fun. supporter. He always on at 8.30, ready to go. Blog and tease, <laughs> Cheryl, everybody's having a good time. Okay, Chris, you ready? Susan Crawford's dancing. That's mm. what's up, because Chris, you got the hot song. I oh, might switch man. it up and in in, in make it the intro music every now and then. It's so hot. Maybe so. It Maybe comes so. right on. Maybe move a little bit. The day that Chris pops up, Breaks it down for y'all. Yeah. When you hear this, it makes you want to go like this. Hey. Is that how you do it? That's how you do it. That's that we. You need a PMI. Are okay, you ready for your question? You ready for your question, Chris? We need to do a sponsored show where I eat a bunch of edibles and put you through this, and you stay sober. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. We'll really it? flip I, shit. Let's I'll flip sponsor shit. that. I'll send you some edibles. I'll Let's sponsor that. Let's do it. That. I'll hook, I'll okay. hook up. My friends have a thing called proper uh, proper cannabis here in town. Let's do it. And you did. And you really going to need key in the background interpreting everything you say. She That's will. all I got to say. After I'll you be mumbling that. asking for pizza. Oh. <laughs> all right, Chris. Got two questions for you. One for me and one from Dennis. This one says, do you, this is for me. Do you take the time to untangle paper clips or do you toss them? Well, in 1992, when I kept a healthy stash of paper clips in right. the drawer, of course. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta untangle them. Absolutely. That'd drive me crazy if they're not. They're tangled up, we got a ball of paper clips. Mm, that's oh, a choking hazard. I, you toss them, right? Are what? You, you untangle them? You paid 72 cents for them. Why not? I mean, that is such a white answer. When have I, I, have, knew, when have I had enough paper clips to tangle? I don't know. Oh, when I'm doing my I paperwork. Do too. I do when it When paper clips be together, I throw them shit right in the trash. I be like, I ain't got time to be untamed. I be pulling them motherfuckers till I get a single one. It could be two. And if they together, I just like, click. And that's yes. crazy considering I'm the frugal person, but I cannot stand tangled up fucking paper clips. I do not have time to be sitting down and doing the shit. <laughs> so when I pull them out and they fucked up, I just throw them in the trash can. And whatever is loose, I lay them out on the dress on my desk and I keep them separate. <laughs> you still you keep a healthy amount of paper clips in your home? Yes. It, let and us know in the live chat. Are you all right here? Let us know in the live chat. Are you big paper clip users, Quincy? You big paper clip guy? Um, well, not what really. Big paperwork but I do the same. Always... I do the same thing, Chris. If I have a cluster of paper clips, I'm taking those things apart. I'm mm -hmm. taking them apart. Oh, <laughs> I go in here. B is if they not loose, and so. they be together, and I'm trying to get shit, I'd be like, blah, blah. I'm trying to get my papers <laughs> together. I ain't got time to untangle clips. Okay. That's somebody's job. That's the job I should hire somebody for. I ain't got time for that. I'm being accused of a of an ultra white answer in the uh, comments, and uh, I'll, I'll own it. Yeah, That's Chris, fair. you said they cost when you named it's the okay. price and all of that. I can't tell you the last oh. time I bought paper clips, but all right. That was definitely a Warren Buffett answer. Warren Buffett. Ooh, not Warren Buffett. 
Warren, whatever his name is, if the, the old if the Sam. Stock, if, the, if the stock market, the if I, get che- I get cheese on my biscuit. The Walmart man, what's his name? No, Warren Buffett does not own Walmart. What's his name? Warren what? Warren Buffett. Buffett. He, you're oh. thinking he, the Oracle of Omaha, very, very rich okay. individual. Yeah, yeah, he thinks like that. He does the, for sure. The paper. I was and that's probably character. why he's rich. Fold and I'm down up. here, and one of them days I'm probably gonna have to go through the trash can and get them paper clips out when I run out. <laughs> so that's how I'm, that's about how I'm hey, living. Do you right. want? Do you want? You want? You want real weird comments? Blog and tease is going wild in the live chat. We should all sure. do a group sex. <laughs> oh. This is okay. a new person. Okay. Yeah, they wild. Okay. You know they wild. They don't give a fuck about no mask or what people look like. They ain't even seen nobody. They don't they know said, who got COVID. They who said, had it. He said uh, Bog and Tease said a group sex. As in a noun. Mm-hmm. A group oh, sex. Singular one. A singular one. Singular, singular, that. yes. That's about like this <laughs> question. That's about like this question I'm about to ask you. Lisa, <laughs> Lisa says maybe you should make a paperclip holder. They're individually stacked. Hmm. Make a paperclip holder. Yeah. And they're do they have those? You could make it. Oh no, that nope. that kind of shit right there that'll blow my high. <laughs> mm. And the po- the purpose of smoking and being focused is to do things that be sorry smokest yes. smokest yeah smokest <laughs> smokest. I can't do that. That would blow my high. You ready for your next question? Question number kinda, two. Which is kind of like that group, have a group sex question. <laughs> Our group do sex. you know what I'm two showers behind means? <laughs> mm. That's what the fuck <laughs> Oh, Ooh, so last nice. night Dennis was saying he two showers <laughs> behind me, and I'm like, "What is two showers? How do you catch up to being two showers behind a person?" Because then you go, oh. "Oh, I said, can you please explain that to me? Because I don't know what that means. I'm at to ask Chris. Mm. What is two Quincy? What is two showers behind the baby girl? I don't easy. know. Mm. Yeah, he talking about. I'm always ahead I, of the shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> He talking about, well, if I go in and take two showers now, then I'll be caught up. Oh, my God. Dennis, <laughs> two Dennis showers the best. Today. I'm two showers behind. Uh, to answer the question, uh, yes. I had not heard that term <laughs> prior Thank to you, tonight. So, and neither have <laughs> I. So that's why I was all like, what the oh. hell is? I'm still trying to figure out. He still explains it to me, and he breaks it down, and it has a senseless genius meaning. Once he explained it, but I'd be so fucked up. And I'd be like, in a way it makes sense when yeah. he explains how he can catch up from being two showers behind. But I'm like, two showers behind what? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm looking yeah. I'm looking for Dennis's comment. I hope I haven't missed him, but that was from Dennis. <laughs> um Mug, What um, was your ass, Chris Deasy? That was it, right? He asked, no, he said he was going upstairs and oh, okay. watch it. And put something in the comment. I don't it's know. It's possible I've missed it too. Yeah. Uh, Jamila says three showers a day. There are two shower. They are two showers behind. Uh, Sonia, question three: Would you call your girlfriend Queen? Would you call your girlfriend Queen? Queen, as in like yes, Queen, oh. or like oh my Queen. <laughs> My queen. Oh, mm, that's a tough that, one. That's a rough one. That's a tough. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I see. I have to be authentic, <laughs> and I don't. I don't know that that fits into the old lexicon. Yeah, in that. I, don't uh, I don't. I don't. I don't get too into the queen. I feel like that's been taken too far into the uh, into the fake side. Yeah, but, I'm with you, Chris. Hey, they don't. If you're genuine about it, more power to you. I don't feel I could represent that in a genuine manner. I would be laughing before it got out of my lips. Maybe if you say Lourdes. Lourdes, my Lourdes. My Lourdes. (laughs) Another another glass of Aldi wine, my Lourdes. Aldi wine is the shit. It's great. I love it. $3 a bottle. You can't beat it with a baseball bat. Mm. And if they had it on Amazon, get it on my link. That's right. All right. <laughs> Let me do. That. Uh, I do have a how they hold them down, and I'm glad it's a quick one because it is 10:40, and I gotta get keep. I'm gonna get in a time frame. Okay. I know everybody loves this show and how late it runs, but 
I be dragging on Wednesdays, trying to get up and get my day started. I don't be getting up mm. till like nine o'clock, yeah. which is really late for me. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm going to work it out. I'm getting old, Chris. I just realized it. When I counted all my gray hairs, I was like, Lord, let me put some drawers on right now. <laughs> this is giving me a headache. Mm. God damn it. So let me go ahead and read this. Holly, hold them down and keep mm. the show moving. All right. So this Who's it is from? from? It is from Divine in Chicago, oh. a.k.a. B. Valentino. Curveball. Yes, and I like it. It's short and simple. It says... Oh, wait, B, B, I, I got to yeah. ask a question. I'm so sorry. We're going to okay, reverse. You Dennis don't have to leave question. it up. Leave it up. B, Dennis asked, thank you, heaven sent, uh, repeated it. Dennis asked, have you ever used a hanger for an antenna? Chris, have you ever used a hanger for an antenna? Surely at some point I did the, uh, something similar. I'm trying to think on TV I don't think on a TV, maybe on some sort of radio, and it was some kind of hillbilly wiring situation. So I'll just say, in the family of that, I've uh, I've in participated, not in a car or. <laughs> yeah, not not in the car, not on no. the television. No, 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 no. That's yeah, great. That's great question. Sorry. Thank God we don't have to do that kind of shit no more. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think that's where I feel like te- technology has made its greatest advances. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, from stuff like that. But, well, this is what Devin sent in for the How They Hold Him Down. He said, I'm reading it from my iPad. I remember my aunt right. used to buy Oscar Mayer ham, then buy cheaper ham and put it in the pack. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> And, thought, and we thought it was Oscar Mayer ham, but it didn't taste like it. Now, everybody know Oscar <laughs> Mayer ham, and even I know this from back in the day eating it. It was sweet and like mm-hmm. slidey. Them little slices, they be kind of slimy. Kinda like, yeah. And, and you know when you buy ham from like a a deli or and they slice it, it be thick, them motherfuckers be having that white shit around it what is that like that fat you can't stuff that in no oscar meyer pack and pass that off because it'd be salty as hell yeah. you know ham that they get from the deli be salty oscar meyer got that little tang to a little sweetness so that's probably one of them they used to take it out get a ham to the husband and make the sandwiches for his work and everybody else had to gnaw on it you know that ham you have to put it on the side Ooh. and eat it like this and pull it away from your mouth like a damn dog, like oh. a yank on it. You like, ah. oh my! I remember gosh. them days, and that can't go in no damn Oscar Mayer pack. You can't even reseal it back. Oh my gosh! That's why you ate <laughs> bologna, because people never used to push the lid back down on the top of the bologna pack, and it'd be flipped up, and the two top pieces be hard. <laughs> the <Oof. bologna. laughs> now, is this true? Because nobody have... closed the lid down. CB... And somebody, you always had one person that stick their hand in the refrigerator and keep trying to keep the bologna lid closed. <laughs> it never did. Always pop back up. CB says, I feel like every black mom or grandmom did that. Stay trying to trick you by switching foods. By switching foods up. Yeah. It's oh. old school. So. <laughs> oh, man. Got it. Shout out to Devin Devon, I'm sorry, in Chicago. Hmm. You know, D Valentino, shout out. And he got a new job. I have to shout out his new job. I knew he was really trying to get something. So shout out to you for getting a new gig. So at least we can say the economy is working. I, I think that's proof. Yeah. yeah, you proof in the pudding, Chris. Your business ain't shut down during COVID. No. And still thriving. In the tapioca yeah. and then look, that's right. The spawn of Tighten Up Tuesday. On the rise. My favorite Leveling thing. Up. My favorite thing is we should play a game, and it should be what what it should be called. It should be called uh, Reach, and it could be you make a statement, and B has to provide how she can reach to make it about her at the end of it because it makes me so happy when B <laughs> closes with a note about and just to let you know. 
And just to let you know. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> I cannot and, say how much I love it. And that's why I love working with you, B. It makes me so happy. I'm like, she's going to do it. <clears throat> it's my favorite. Great work, B. Well, Chris, you know, <laughs> my ultimate goal is to get my show. I am going to have my, yeah. everybody with their own. I'm going to have my own comedy special and my own DIY show. B. Am I right? Am I right when I say you approach life like you're trying, you're marketing, like you're trying to get every last person into a comedy show? That's how you live your life. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I love about this show because I know everybody watching and that always watches and even the tunes in to watch later supports what we are doing here because there's nothing like it and they want to see that. And I got that confirmation from my brief and bake. Everybody was like, ain't nobody, ain't no other influencers showing they spreadsheet, letting people see how much money they get. <laughs> She's like, you're the only one doing that. And I was like, wow, I didn't even think about that. That is a different little take on it, but I'm transparent. This is what I'm supposed to do. The, this is the people show like the people court. Wait, why does it have to be like that? Well, I can't be, it can be like many things. It doesn't have to be like a Because look, they already told you in the comments, Chris, if you get a negative comment, they're going to shut it down. <laughs> That's the people's court. That's the Picasso court right got, there. The Picasso bailiffs. <laughs> got it. The bailiff. Picasso yeah, bailiffs. Right, right there in the comments. So mm -hmm. everybody know. And look, now we got a mayor. Oh. Somebody was upset that we didn't vote <laughs> for the mayor. <laughs> there Somebody, you go. I didn't. I can't remember who it was. B. Someone was a little perturbed that we anointed a mayor. It said mayors are voted on. I think other you? people might like a chance to be the mayor. And I said, I don't know. Seems pretty official. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we're just having fun. You know what? Yeah. He moved up from the aldermen into the, and he was on the city council, and now he's the mayor. Do all cities mm -hmm. have aldermen? Some do. Just sitting back. Really Some do. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, that's how politics happen when people don't vote and pay attention to the ballots. Ain't that right? And then they get mad. Like this May 17th mm -hmm. election gonna sneak up on everybody. Yeah. Not on me. I got my mail-in ballot. <laughs> I already know who I'm voting for. People don't be voting in primaries. You gotta vote, vote, vote. Local, mm -hmm. national, regional, whatever. Just vote, period. It's your right. Do it before say, they take it away from us. You look you the other way. That. Your alderman will be driving down the street in a new car. And see, if people were paying attention when Quincy was running for the alderman. That's right. They were Snuck paying right attention in. when That's right. he slid in the city council. And he's, look, now he's a mayor. Quincy's over here going, listen to this Louise story. And then, bam, he over here. In earlier. <laughs> Pow! Yeah, you the mayor. Mayor. Did we do a yep. poll on how fly I sound without my headset on? We did, and 100%. Fly. What a pH. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. This might be my new format. Well, Grace can show my pictures next week. We ain't got to worry about that. What? My flyers. Because they're one Takes two June, seconds. Two May. seconds. You work hard for this. Get the flyers up. Get up All there. Right. Let's do it. Well, it's in May. It's not like it's coming up soon. It I is. It'll be here before soon. you know it. That's true. It's in two weeks. Keep it on people's mind. It's in trend. Western, um, safe area for those of us. I love Trenton, you know, because I, I'm a Philly diehard. But a lot of people be like, I ain't going to Trenton. So you got to say what part of Trenton. It's kind of like when people say, I ain't going to East St. Louis. So <laughs> this is in Western. A car but, um, got broken into at Melanie Camacho's show here in St. Louis. See? Well, I was like, welcome. It's going to be a dope show, me and Aisha. And I'm so looking forward to this. I actually have need to do a video drop for this show. I am so looking forward to Father's Day in St. Croix. That's going to be fun. Four days. I am looking forward to that. Just having fun. I've never been to St. Croix, so it'll be interesting. I'm Love looking it. forward. So. And if anybody, you don't need a passport. You can just show your, as long as you take a COVID test. The day before, bring your rapid results. You too can be in St. Croix Father's Day weekend, kicking it. Don't ask me how much it costs because I ain't got to pay it. Worry about that. <laughs> All I know is I'm going to be there. <laughs> All I can say is if you can get there, I can get you in. <laughs>
I can definitely get you in. I'll be like, they on my motherfucking guest list. They to be consoles. They flew all the way here from the U.S. to the U.S. Virgin Islands. All 20 of them on my motherfucking list. Oh, man. St. Saint Croix isn't even a real saint. <laughs> exactly. Shit. Probably with St. Crawfish and they cut it down to St. Croix. Thank you, B. We were all thinking. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Mm. man shout out to dennis Why he's gotten so much love in the in the chat tonight quincy's gotten oh, a bunch of love up. but we got to get dennis back oh. on here i'm telling you oh dennis ain't coming back down here no I'm i know thinking, him. i think i, I might be you. sick i might be sick the next time you don't have a special guest oh. host and maybe dennis will have to fill in oh mm -hmm. you see he's not a you see how he rolled up in and out of here he's like i'm just saying hi to the people like quincy have his spotlight i don't want to take away from what a he come back down here. We might see him at Christmas. He might slide down here for the hundredth episode special, which will be on. I'll let you know that. Chris. Did you say the one hundredth episode? You're already talking yeah, so about one hundredth. We're episode. coming up on the fortieth. You know we're coming up on our party. The one oh. hundredth episode is. That's the sixty-six year in. Hold on. How do you 74. know? Oh, damn. We won't even be on a hundred episode until 2023. Year end, we'll be on the 75th episode. Well, you might have to start doing you know, two I got a week. Mark, I got a mark on my calendar all the way to the end of the year. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm in there like a booty hair. Good like Lord. a booty hair. I do like love booty hair. <laughs> I do love that B knew when the 75th uh, episode would be, but she didn't realize like May 6th is in like a week and a half. <laughs> she stays ready. She stays stay ready. ready. You I are. Stay. You're I always you. ready. I stay ready. But I take See, a I'm day a type by of day. Stay ready. Mm. That's right. I plan it out and I take it day by day. That's all I can do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's why I know what May 6th was. I know it's coming up, but I'll stay like, like Maya say, stay in the present. Thanks, I'm Maya. in the present. I'm in the moment and in the day. And right now in the night, about to go to bed. And on that note, tell Grace to throw the music on the pussy. Wanna get up and jam out with me? Oh, this. Oh, this is how we do with St. Louis. Show him, B. Show him, B. Look at that knee is moving. Quincy's got his oh. setup. Follow Quincy on Instagram. Ah. Make sure you're here every Tuesday night. Ah. At 8 o'clock Central, 9 Eastern. Shout out to Dennis for a wonderful appearance. All of you in the live chat tonight. So funny. Couldn't do it without you. Thanks for all the cash apps to be. Two Funny Mamas this Thursday. Tune in for that. Bye, everybody. Thanks, Grace. Bye.